Hey guys, and welcome back. It is time for our first game of the season uh, with um, Evian. Okay, so before we get into the game, let's go ahead and recap uh, what we've done so far. Um, since you last saw us against Vertebrae, we have two wins. Now, neither of these wins are super impressive. Uh, the, this game against Tristina, I believe. They're a team from Italy, semi-professional, not a great team at all. The 2-4 um, result isn't that good, actually. Um, we really started off in control here. They scored two quick goals. Uh, I was playing pretty high attack, uh, fluid attacking game. So, you know, in reality, if I got a lead like that, I would start to close down, um, which I didn't do. And our defense did not play... Oh, our defense played okay, but not really the strength of our team. Mudu Sugu played really well that game, um, so that's good to see. Uh, there was even an incredible goal by uh, um, Bryce Deja G, which I've already filmed. I'll slide that in here or something. And besides that, Mujusugu got two goals, and uh, this kid here, who is one of the strikers contracted to us um, at 1.1 million, he got a goal, and that's really good to see, considering we're going to lose a lot of talent up front uh, after this loan spell's over. Now, I found out, I didn't actually know this, but Dynamo, Mas or Dynamo Kiev is a affiliate of Evian. There's a lot of talent we could pull from that team. Uh, it's a pretty strong team in Ukraine. And I'm down the line, I'm going to look at it. Um, Transfer-wise, I don't really want to spend any more money, considering no one's really going out right now with my team. Um, but I'll show you my transfers in a second. But let's show the next game. Next game was against this Dijem team. They're in 3rd Division B of Belgium. 2-1 win. Could have done better. But I was also playing a pretty weak team this game, for the most part. Uh, one thing I did find out was that Kevin Beregard, or... Baragod, I guess I'll call him. I don't know his name really. Um, one of the ta most more talented players I have. Um, he's actually going to be able to work really well on that attacking mid left side. He got a goal and an assist, I believe, um, and he's playing really well out there. So I plan to leave him out there. Um, in the oh, there's horns honking outside. In the future, uh, so let's go ahead and get a transfer. So far, I'll show you what I've done since the last transfer. Um, Two free transfers, actually. Both were offered by agents, um, and both of them look pretty good. John Mensa, not to be confused with Jonathan Mensa, uh, another player I have on the team. Um, he is uh, um, 30 years old, but decently tall, good value. He's getting paid 20k a week. That's a lot, but there are certain reasons for this. He's a great tackler of the ball. He's really strong. Uh, he can jump really high. He's good at heading. I thought this is the kind of true center back that we're really going to need. I mean, you think about the likes of, um, of uh, you know, Falcao and, and Zlatan uh, and Riviere and uh, I'm trying to think of all the other strikers right now uh, that I really can't think of that are in... No, oh, whatever. Well, there's a lot of Liga strikers that are really big and tall and strong. And in fact... There's a lot of really tall, big players in League Up. People don't really realize that. So having someone like him in here who's really strong and can get into games and can make a difference, you know, I thought for a free transfer, 20K per week, he's on a contract until uh, 2016, so about three years. I thought, hey, you know, he can live up to that value pretty well. Um, and the other one, what's Adrian Luna, I'm actually really excited about this. Uh, 250k value right now, 21 years old, but he was free. He's making appearances for the U21 team. Uh, technically pretty gifted. Determination's not large, so he may not grow a lot. But good flair, good off the ball, good physically. He's quick, and he can play that attacking 
right mid spot, which is the only spot on the whole team that I really would have no one to play uh, after this season. So I have someone who could potentially play there. He's on the reserve team for now. I might call him up to the first team for a few games. Uh, but I'm really excited about him as well. So let's go ahead and let's get to... I'll select my team. Okay. Um, well, so the team I've gone for today um, is... Well, first of all, Bryce Dejaji has a suspension. I'm assuming that's carrying over from last year. I don't think it will spend it for two domestic league matches. I think that's from last season. So, not going to have my one of my best players. Bit of a bummer. Uh, so, instead, we're going to go with Yusuf Sabali. Um, 20 years old. And, yeah, okay. He's had a decent preseason. Um, so, he's going to get the run out there. Uh, Daniel Wass is going to be my other wing back. I'm going to go with Cedric Mongongu. Didn't start during the preseason, but he's tall and big and young and athletic. Not as tall and big as a uh, John Mensa, but good enough to be in the squad, in my opinion. In fact, I don't think I have John Mensa uh, traveling with the team um, at all, actually. It's seven subs. Uh, let me just work this around here. I think I want him going over Angola. It's okay, I'll leave those people. Okay, all right. Um, oh, and also uh, Escobar, Ramiro Escobar. Uh, another reason Burgers can get a lot of time out there is because Escobar is out for five months with a broken foot. Uh, Jasper Henson recently got called up to the Danish national team. Hasn't made an appearance, but maybe that call up will help out his performance. I uh, haven't seen super good things from him, but hopefully hopefully that will change. Uh, so Jonathan Mensa uh, and Cedric Mongongu got a pretty, really young defense here. Uh, I'm playing Cedric Kambam. He's going to be my deep-lying playmaker. Uh, thinking actually about making him an anchor man. He's a little bit better in that position, and defensively that will work out a little bit better. Uh, I got a ball-winning midfielder and Dan Nister, one of my stars on my team, and Cedric Barbosa, the captain. He's going to be a deep line playmaker, so he's going to play here a little bit more. Um, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do here on the right. If I wanted to start Mudu Sugu or not over, uh, over uh, Bertoglio. I think I do, actually. Sugu's been playing really well. Uh, well actually, so is Bertoglio. They've both been playing well. But I'll give Sugu the start because his condition, I think, is a little bit better. Yeah, a little better conditioning, so he'll get the start there. Ruben, of course, will be my striker starting off the game, and Kevin Berg are there. I think I said that already. So that's my squad for this game. Um, I gotta give him a number. Oh, hasn't played a competitive match yet. Oh, I thought he had a number. Alright. And we're playing So Shao, and I think we're actually favorites in this game. So once again, last time we were favorites uh, against the top-tiered side in Europe, we lost. So let's let's hope we can win this game. Uh, we've been playing pretty well attacking, like I said. We've let in goals, so I want to score and then defend. Uh, very, uh, very, uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know what that is of me, but very Italian of me. So let's score and defend. Uh, let's try to keep control of possession, and I don't know if I want to do that and play a control game and be open to counters. I think I actually kind of do. So let's work on retaining possession. And uh, I don't know what I want to do with tempo. I don't really want to mess with tempo. So just retain possession, and we're going to play a controlled style, balance, and we're going to see how this goes. And here we go. Oh, oh no. Oh, well, I skipped the team talk. It has a great start to my uh, career as the Evian manager in competitive matches. Well, here we go. Let's see. Let's see what we can do here. I'm actually really excited. I think this is going to be a pretty fun series, and I'm really enjoying this team a lot so far through the preseason. This is very talented. I didn't realize how, I mean, I've always kind of followed Evian because I've always liked their jerseys or something, and I liked Yannick Sogpo was he, when he was here. But I didn't realize it until I looked at the squad this year. It's a pretty decent squad, considering it's a team that's been around for 10 years, literally, and been in top flight for two. It's a pretty good squad. Um, they're building something nice there. Um, we dropped down to second position, meaning someone scored. 
in a different game. Uh, no highlights here the first few minutes. Uh, two yellow... No, that's them. Oh my gosh. So there's this one glitch in the beta where it's default. I don't know if it's something I did, but it's... For me, at least right now, it's default. Uh, hasn't always been this way, but the past few games, it's been uh, default the other team. Uh, energy up there and their stats, which I don't really want to see. So I'm going to have to fix that next time it's waiting for a highlight because I want to watch this here. So Bali finds Kanban, finds Barbosa, back to Mangangu, playing this retaining possession game pretty well. 18 minutes in, we are actually not in control of possession though. But this is a good little run here. Is Nister now running this one in? Is he going to take a shot? Finds Sugu, Sugu's going to cross it into. Oh! Ruben, oh my gosh, from Dynamo Kiev on loan, oh my gosh, that was a wonderful opportunity, and Zlatan scored for PSG, that's going to be a fun team to play, oh my gosh, we had such a good opportunity to go up in this game early and maybe start balancing ourselves out, but man, looks as though they're going to have the attack here. Let's see if we can stop them, or if it's going to come down to Hansen having to make a save, or... Oh, oh my gosh. Well, the uh, goal I showed earlier by us is nowhere near as good as this goal. Wow. That, that I mean, I'm not even that mad. I mean, I'm mad because it was stupid, but... My team didn't do anything wrong. Covered the cross pretty well, and that's just... Maybe Hansen makes that save or not. I don't know if I should blame him or not for that, but I kind of want to blame him because I've not been enjoying him for it. He's been okay, but I, mean, I just, I don't know. Um, Barbosa got a yellow card. We have to watch him. I watch that with him. We are officially sitting in last place right now. Uh, that's not true. There's no way that's true. There's more than 20 people. No, there's not. I don't know. But the team's losing 2 nothing. I was pretty sure, so... <sighs> okay, well, uh, I would say I'm expecting much better showing, because I do. We should be doing a lot more. I'm going to switch to an attacking control. I'm going to take off retaining possession, and I'm going to work at working the ball into the box, because I think we are pretty deadly from inside the box. That's from what I've noticed so far from all my preseason games. And we're going to see if that helps. Um, at about the 55 minute mark or so, I'm going to look at subbing out Barbosa before he gets too bad. It looks as though Beauregard's tired. I think I have some people to play there, and he's got a yellow, so he's going to come off. Playing pretty well, though. He's my best player so far. Uh, we'll see. We will see. We moved up to 19th position. Oh, we got a throw in here to Ruben. Okay, lost it, but kanban has got it. Is he going to pass it to one of these center mids? Find Sugu. Sugu now. Into Ruben, please. Oh! Was that an own goal? That was an own goal. But you know what? That's. <laughs> that is strangely identical to. Wow. That is strangely identical. Almost the same spot that pass came in from. Goalie had to make some form of a save. Just happened to bounce off the head of one of their defenders. That was lucky, but hey, you know what? I'll take it. I, I don't think they deserved their goal. I don't think we really deserved ours, so. Still a point each. Um, let's go ahead and bring off Barbosa. Put in uh, Sorlin. Uh, I need attacking mid left. I actually don't have anyone that can go in for him right now. Uh, I can play probably. Well, I can play. Pretty sure I can play David Wass up there. Um, <laughs> well, that's an interesting start. And then I can play. Uh, no, I can't actually. This is no, I can't really play anyone truly right there. Um, I'm just gonna have to play. <sighs> you know what? I know what we'll do. I know what we'll do. I know exactly what we'll do. We're gonna pause the game and we're gonna go to. I can't go to tactics, okay? Okay, we're gonna pause the game. And we're gonna go to a different formation. We're gonna move Borgard up here with Ruben. We're gonna try to go for a win here. Uh, we're gonna take off Borgard and we're gonna put on. 
music. Okay. And we're going to move up. This is... This is hurting my head. That's what this is doing. Bertoglio in for Sugu. We're going to play him right there. Much more narrow formation. But we're going to see if this works. I've never tried this before. But I mean, I sh I, that was my fault, managing-wise. I think this should work okay. Um... If not better than okay. not better than okay, I don't know. <sighs> okay, uh, but we're going to change our instructions for these last few minutes, and we're gonna play. Um... Oh man, I'm trying to think here. This formation I have, I hope it doesn't come back to haunt me, but I think it's pretty decent. Um... Oh, it's taking a while to load. Maybe this is a the game looks a little frozen. I hope it didn't crash. Doesn't seem to have crashed. Uh, oh, play! I'm an idiot. I'm a complete idiot. All right, uh, and we're gonna change one of our instructions to. Um, it's a highlight, but I'm gonna say, oh gosh, it's void the middle. Okay. Oh, Ruben's through. Oh. Hit it wide. Didn't see that whole highlight there, but man, looks as though he should have scored that. Our right, back in control of possession. Um, seems to be slightly the better team here, but it'd be nice to score a goal here late. Don't know if we will or not. It's three minutes of added time coming up. Ah, oh, come on. Maybe one last chance here for something. think so. They're working it around pretty slow, unless we steal it, like, right now. Mmm. Well, let's stop there. Oh, there we go. Lost clears it up. Nope. No one's gonna get to it. Should be the end of the game. Yep. Ended a little bit early, but, you know what? Not a super exciting game, but we can't actually be happy with that. We have to be doing better than that if we want to stay alive. Uh, we have to be winning those kind of games. Uh, but they got an unfortunate goal, and we got uh, we got a kind of a lucky goal, too. So two lucky goals kind of offset each other. Um, but from, so I mean, technically so far, we're in second place. That's not going to stay. Um, no way. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I don't know when I'll be back. Probably a few episodes down the line, like two or three. Uh, but we'll see. We will see. Um, hopefully, things have started to turn around and I found a way to score more goals. I think the formation we have is working. Um, just got kind of unlucky that game. But, nonetheless, um, it's been Stall Me Please, and uh, thanks for watching.